This is the first of a series of videos in which we discuss the core features and functions of HotDocs Author. And in this video, we are going to start HotDocs Author. We'll discuss the idea of a HotDocs workspace, and we will create a workspace that we'll use in subsequent videos. I'm in a Windows 10 environment, but this is applicable to other versions of Windows as well. And I'm gonna go down to my Start menu and click on the Start button. When I do that, at the very top, at least here in Windows 10, there is a section for recently added applications. You can see that I've recently installed HotDocs Author. And so a shortcut to Author appears there. Uh, I could also go down to the HotDocs Author program group that gets created, and you'll see that there is a single shortcut to Author within that program group. You can also see that I have a program group for an older version of HotDocs installed on my system, and perhaps you have the same sort of program group on your system. If you are a uh, user of uh, this older version of HotDocs, you may well see that. But if you're brand new to HotDocs, you've never used it before, and you've just installed HotDocs Author, you, of course, will not see that program group for the older version of HotDocs. You should just see the HotDocs Author program group, and then you can click on the shortcut there. Uh, you can also see on my taskbar, I've created a similar shortcut to HotDocs Author. So any one of those methods can be used uh, to launch the application. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the one here on the taskbar. Brings up a little splash screen. And then I'm presented with what we call Workspace Explorer. This is where we would access or use a HotDocs workspace. And all a workspace is is a collection of HotDocs content. And if we had a workspace open, which we currently don't, we would see that content displayed here, and then we could access that hot docs content. Um, of course, we don't have that right now, so we're going to go ahead and create a new workspace. And it's very simple to do. All we need to do is go up to this button here in the top left-hand corner, the workspace menu. You can see there's a little drop-down button there. And the very first item that appears is new workspace. I'm going to click on that, and I'm presented with a dialog where I can give the workspace a name. Now these videos will be mirroring the tutorials that we have available to you within HotDocs Help. So I'm going to call this particular workspace Tutorials. And you can see this is where HotDocs will create the workspace. Now behind the scenes, a workspace is just a special HotDocs enabled folder on your system somewhere. It might be on your local drive if you choose to create it there. Uh, it might be on a network or shared drive. But this is the file path to that workspace. You can see I've already set up a folder on my C drive called HotDocs Workspace. That's actually uh, my default location for workspaces. Uh, if you want to change the default location for wherever you create a workspace going forward, you can go up to the Options menu and there will be a section within the options menu for workspaces and a simple file path field there where you can specify a new default location. But you're not, of course, restricted to creating workspaces in this default location that comes up. If you want to create this particular workspace or this HotDocs enabled folder, which will contain all of your HotDocs templates and other content in a different location, there is a browse button available for you to do that. And this is just an indicator down here of what the uh, workspace will be called and uh, where it will be located on your system. Now you do have the ability optionally to associate a new workspace with what we call a source control repository. That just allows you to use a source control application like Subversion so that you can say check HotDocs templates and other content in and out, create different versions of that content and so forth. We're not going to do that right now, but we will uh, have a separate video that you can access uh, discussing source control, how to set that up, how to use that with HotDocs workspaces. So for now, we're just going to leave this unchecked. I'm going to click on OK. And then HotDocs creates that underlying folder on my system. You can see there is a message indicating that here. And now we're in the tutorials workspace. 
And it's at this point that we can start putting stuff in this workspace, for lack of a better description. That stuff, of course, is going to be various types of hot docs content. And we will start that process in the next video.